Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So, oh, got some really, really, really exciting news today, guys. Very surprising, totally shocking, in fact. Tesla have obliterated, destroyed, completely crushed their quarterly delivery and production numbers. New records across the board. I'm so surprised I can't contain my shock or my excitement. I'm sure you can tell. I just have absolutely no idea how on earth Tesla possibly could have destroyed the analyst estimates for their quarterly deliveries. I just don't know how they did it. This is really shocking. I'm sure it's a one-off. It's never going to happen again. So in today's video, we're going to discuss this record-breaking quarter, what it means for Tesla's Q3 financial results. And I'm also going to be reacting to some comments from Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, who has destroyed General Motors. So with that said, let's get into the video. If you love crypto, stocks, and free stuff, or just want to help out the channel, check out these great offers. BlockFi are launching the world's first Bitcoin rewards credit card. People in the US can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase with no annual fee using the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card. Check out the link in the description. And for a limited time, you can get up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description and if you'd like up to two free stocks check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account you'll get one free stock valued up to $300 just for opening an account and if you make an initial deposit of $5 or more you'll get a second free stock valued up to $2,000. Seriously free stocks? Yes please. And finally if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for your support guys. Let's get back to it. Tesla Q3 2021 vehicle production and deliveries from notice Austin, Texas October 2nd 2021. In the third quarter, we produced approximately 238,000 vehicles and delivered over 240,000 vehicles. We would like to thank our customers for their patience as we work through global supply chain and logistics challenges. Now, this is really important and I want to underscore this. Tesla is operating under enormously difficult circumstances, major constraints, massive challenges. Were they not, these delivery numbers would be significantly higher than they already are. This quarter, Tesla was producing vehicles without all the required parts and actually adding them in after they had been produced, after they had come off manufacturing lines. Despite this, despite the global chip shortages and the logistical challenges, they've still crushed it and delivered an enormous record quarter, about a 20% increase from previous quarter in terms of deliveries. Oh, and that's before Austin and Berlin have commenced deliveries. We can see here that the Model S slash X, well, in this case, it's literally just the Model S accounted for almost none of the volume of the quarter. So keep in mind, as this ramp up the refreshed Model S, these numbers are going to improve significantly as well. Production 237,823 vehicles total, deliveries 241,300. We can see Tesla delivered more vehicles than they produced. What does this mean? It means a reduction in inventory. And a very positive consequence of this, Tesla sold vehicles they produced in a prior quarter. This means massive additional profits in Q3. You can count on it. So stay tuned for that in the financial results released very soon. Now in the context of this video, as in to all the Tesla stock investors watching, which is almost all of you, growth matters. So let's rewind the clock, let's say half a decade to 2016 in Q3 to see how many vehicles Tesla delivered in the entire quarter just five years ago. Tesla Q3 2016 production and deliveries, October 2nd, 2016 from, and please note this, Palo Alto, California. Tesla's most recent quarterly numbers came out of Austin, Texas. This appears to indicate that Tesla may have in fact followed through with Elon Musk's threats of moving the headquarters to Texas and leaving California. For those of you who are unsure about this reference, just search on Google, Elon Musk, give people back their goddamn freedom. Anyway, let's continue. As we can see here in Q3 2016, Tesla delivered approximately 24,500 vehicles. In case you have a short memory or you're high or both, that is one tenth of what Tesla delivered in this quarter, okay? Tesla has increased their deliveries by 10x in just five years. Okay, time to do a quick bit of math here. We're just gonna use some ballpark numbers. This quarter, Tesla delivered approximately 250,000 vehicles in a quarter. Multiply that by four and we have their annualized rate of deliveries, approximately. Now, let's just imagine hypothetically that we 10x that again, as we saw in the last five years, Tesla's 10x their deliveries. Let's do it again. We end up with an annualized rate of deliveries of about 10 million vehicles. Tesla need only do what they did in the previous five years again, and they'll be at 10 million vehicle deliveries. Now, obviously going from 100,000 to a million isn't quite the same as going from a million to 10 million, but in terms of math, it's actually identical. 
That's right, Tesla need only 10x their quarterly vehicle deliveries, and they will deliver 10 million vehicles in a single year. That will put them at approximately the same scale as the world's biggest ever automotive manufacturers in their best ever years. And for those of you playing along at home, in my bear case, Tesla doesn't achieve that goal until 2029. In my base case, Tesla achieves that somewhere around 2027, and in my bull case, Tesla achieves that around 2026, maybe early 2027. So I just wanted to say a huge congratulations to every single person involved in Tesla's record-breaking quarter, not only the hard-working Tesla employees, but also the suppliers. This record-breaking quarter in terms of production and deliveries makes it fairly evident that Tesla is going to have an absolute blowout quarter in terms of financial results, record profit, record revenue, record everything that matters, so don't say I didn't warn you. And now, as promised, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest absolutely destroying General Motors. Here we are over on Twitter from Kathy Wood. Today, Tesla announced that in the third quarter, it sold 241,300 vehicles globally, up 73% year over year and 20% quarter over quarter. Meanwhile, GM blamed the approximate 33% year over year decline in its US sales on chip shortages. What? EVs require three to five times more chips per car produced. Kathy Wood isn't finished. In ARK Invest's view, traditional auto manufacturers have been building chip inventories since April when their US sales peaked at more than 18 million units and then dropped more than 30%, 65% at an annual rate, over the next five months to 12.2 million in September. Addressing the chip shortages in the last two weeks, the extremely corrupt UAW eggplant gobbling Biden administration, sorry I might have mispronounced a few words there, has threatened to invoke a traditional wartime measure, the Defense Production Act, which would force companies to disclose supply chain information, including chip inventories. Hmm, this could get juicy. We would not be surprised to see chip supplies loosen up considerably, perhaps turning the problem from a shortage into a glut, given the weakness in gas-powered auto demand. Elon Musk? AMD's Sue and GM's Carlyle are on record saying chip supply constraints are easing. The inventory glut is not on dealer lots. Auto manufacturers have only 17 days of supply in the pipeline, much lower than the normal 60 plus days. As is the case for many goods that were stocked during the last year, the inventory is in homes and garages. Because consumers bought new and used cars to avoid mass transit during the past year, the V-shaped recovery in autos was more dramatic than that after most of the more prolonged recessions during the past 50 years. As mass transit and ride sharing continue to recover during the next year or so, many consumers could conclude that they have prepaid too much for transportation in the form of those extra cars. By the time autos recover strongly, if Sam Kuris of ARK Invest is correct, the sticker prices of electric vehicles would be at or below those of like-for-like -like gas-powered vehicles. Jumping in here, something I've been saying for quite a while, I agree, and this is a significant moment, suggesting that traditional auto companies will be completely f***ed. Hmm. I think I might have mispronounced a few words there again. Let me try that again. Suggesting that traditional auto companies will have to transform from around 95% gas to majority electric. Oh no, what I said was right. So the long and the short of it, Tesla continues to crush records and grow at a truly staggering rate, while everyone else is simply getting crushed. As I've said, and as I will continue to say, Tesla is going to post record-breaking quarter after record-breaking quarter for years to come. And they also continue to eat the lunch of legacy automotive manufacturers who are unquestionably completely and utterly f***ed. They were too slow and now they will be out of business before the decade ends. You can count on it. Oh, and I almost forgot. It's a very special day today, so BRB. Ah, much better. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem. And go the bunnies. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.